All right, I've got this picture of a rugged outdoorsman, and um, what I want to do is show you how to use the clone uh, tool to get rid of him. Uh, and in fact, first of all, let's get rid of this guy who was, I guess, taking the picture and I make it look like that this was just a kind of magical thing. And so what we do is we click on the clone stamp tool. What that means is it's going to take one area of the photograph and replace another area of the photograph. And it's pretty cool because you can make something kind of disappear this way. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to get rid of this whole the belly and everything and this whole canoe. And so what I do is I click on the water. I want to replace it with water. In fact, I kind of want to replace it with this more calm water. Well, yeah depends. Um, I want to replace it. We'll just start here. And so what I do is I hold down the um, Option key on the Mac, which would be the Alt key in Windows, and then I start sampling this area. I just click a few times, then I let go, and now I just, I just click and drag, and you see where the little plus is. It replaces the stuff um, that I'm covering. So you can see this guy is kind of disappearing. Now I'm going to have to resample again because you can see the plus is going to start going over his knees and that's not what I want. So I want to go back up here again. Option. Now um, you might see this is going to take me like long time. So one of the things I can do is I can change the size uh, of the actual tool. So let's go up to like 100. Also whether or not you want the, it to be sort of soft or hard depending on the nature of the image you can choose something different. Um, these are relatively soft and round. These are um, round, hard. So um, let's go with that to see what the difference is. And close this. But now, but I'm going to also change this to 100 pixels. In fact, let's make it 200 just to speed this thing up. So you get the idea. You can keep going on and on for a long time. Now since it's hard, it doesn't fade very well. So that probably wasn't a very good option. So let's try the 300 soft. Now well, that's very big. And then, so, start getting rid of big hunks of the boat. and, you, and the only problem with it being so large is the samples are so big that it's much more obvious that you're doing the same thing over and over again. So you can see the samples here. You can see it's the same rock formations over and over again. But if you make it a little, little, a little bit littler, it's not as obvious. Now this guy, we could get rid of this guy too. The only problem is you got to be careful about getting the bank. So you can get that guy like that. Then go up maybe sample on the bank. Now this is so big that it's can't go into much detail. But still, um, the nature of this photo is that it's kind of an ambiguous scene. <laughs> it looks a little odd, but you can get the idea. I could erase this whole person, and you can. It looks a little bit gnarly now, but if you use a smaller, um, uh, smaller setting for the tool, then it'll work better, but it'll take longer. But that gives you an idea anyway of how the clone stamp tools it uh, works. It's kind of magic.